Hello, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to analyze a great game. This is Kasparov versus Topalov 1999. This is one of the best games in the history and also one of my favorite games. They got this position after move 23 queen d6. Uh, we are going to see the game and we are going to calculate calculate some small variations. That's like a good exercise for you. So, well, the first move here was rook d4. It's a rook sacrifice. This is very interesting. Topalo accepted the sacrifice. But you need to know that the best move here was king b6. And black would have an equal game. Topalo thought that the sacrifice was not good enough. So he took the rook. But now Kasparov sacrificed another rook. He played rook e7. Topalov played king b6. The problem is that if queen takes rook, queen takes d4 check, only move will be king b8. White can play queen b6. Bishop b7 only move. Remember, there is a bishop over here. Knight c6 check, and now you can take the queen, but also after king a8. You will have checkmate with queen a7. That's why he decided to play king b6, queen takes d4, king a5, b4 check, king a4, queen c3, threatening checkmate over here, queen takes d5, rook a7, threatening checkmate over here, bishop b7, but now the bishop has to protect Sorry, the queen has to protect the bishop and the checkmate. That's why you can take the bishop. Queen c4, trying to exchange queens. Kasparov took the knight. King a3, queen takes a6, king b4. And now I would like you to try to find this move. This is great. c3 check. King takes c3. Let's see what happens. For example, if king c5, then you can play rook c7 and you take the queen. If queen takes, right now in this position, queen takes the pawn, you can play queen takes b5, king a3, and then rook a7. It's going to be almost checkmate. So we know this doesn't work, and we know this doesn't work. Uh, the other line black has is king b3, but then you can play queen a2, king c3, only move, queen b2, king d3, only move, and then bishop f1, and you are winning the queen at least. Okay, that's why he has to take and now queen a1, king d2, queen b2, check. Uh, another is a great move, you need to find this. I will give you some seconds. Bishop f1. The bishop was doing nothing here in the last moves. And now it comes over here creating new thre threats. The problem is that white would like to give a check over here, but uh, right now the queen, black queen is protecting there. So that's why he plays this idea trying to deflect the queen. Rook d2, well, of, of course, if queen takes f1, you can play queen c2 check, king e1, rook e7, check, almost winning, queen e2, and then queen takes queen, checkmate. So he cannot take the bishop, he has to play something like this, this is an interesting move, but Kasparov had everything already calculated and he found this great move rook d7 very strong now there is a pin over here there is a very strong threat over here and also another strong threat over here so black is losing the game right now rook takes bishop takes queen pawn takes bishop by the way if instead of taking the bishop 
black decides to move the queen, sorry, the rook somewhere, then you will have checkmate in one move by playing queen c1. That's why he has to take the bishop even when he's losing the rook. That's the problem. So he takes the bishop, you take the rook, uh, rook d3. Uh, right now, Kasparov has a queen versus rook and pawn. This is winning, but he still has to play carefully because there is a passed pawn and black could create some threats. But this is not so hard for Kasparov. c3, queen check, c3 threatening something like this. You need to be careful, but queen check, king e1, f4, f5, king c1 blocking the pawn. Rook d2, threatening over here, and queen a7. Uh, here, Topalo dec decided to resign. The problem is that he cannot take the pawn because then white can't play queen g1 and take the rook. And also, white is taking these pawns over here. So that's why he decided to resign. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video, this is a very important game in the history, and by the way I would like to ask you which is your favorite game or what you think is the greatest game in the history, leave a comment and tell me what you think about this and maybe we could be creating new videos. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.